Ladies and gentlemen, I want to skip the advertisements at the start of the video I do usually and get straight into it today because I think it's an important topic. Uh, we discussed yesterday quite heavily uh, how Bitcoin had broken out of a symmetrical triangle pattern and was on the way upwards, and that certainly was the case. But now, unfortunately, we've seen some turbulence on the way upwards. We've rejected quite strongly from a uh, resistance line here in total cryptocurrency market cap and flipped back below the symmetrical triangle formation. And so as of right now, that bullishness has been paused in the short term. We still have that weekly chart bullishness. We'll look at all that in a second. But right now, we do need to discuss actually the bear case because uh, we're approaching the halving. We've got a very important and very lesser known pattern on the daily chart, on the four hourly chart right now called a bearish bat harmonic pattern. Not many people know about that. Uh, it's a pattern that utilizes Fibonacci angles, uh, certain bouncing zones, resistance levels, and it has an interesting way in which it measures the targets. But we'll look at that in a second. Before we look into this pattern specifically, we need to look into the actual levels on the screen here. So all of these red lines, all of these levels mean something, right? So 73K, the top red line that you can see right here is of course the all-time high. 769K, this red line right here, this second one down, is actually identified via the weekly chart resistance zone stemming backwards from 2021. You can see that was the all-time high in 2021, and we found it for resistance on the weekly candle closes uh, right here in March 4th, and then we flipped it for support right now. It's actually acting as support currently. It's a very good weekly candle close we just saw, but that makes the second red line. The third red line right here at 61.2K is identified via the monthly chart uh, support level it was the highest ever monthly candle close in 2021. And it also acted as monthly candle resistance here in 2024. So that's uh, been marked in as well. And then the red line, the lowest red line here at 57.5K uh, is the volume profile spike. So we have a spike in the volume profile at 57K. It's our next major support zone, technically speaking, on a macro level. Uh, and so all of these red lines, these four red lines are identifiable via major macro trigger zones across timeframes. These are the most important uh, horizontal lines you can draw in on your screens right now. Uh, 73k, 69k, 61.2k, 57.5k. They all mean something. They are all very significant and very major. And it's very interesting to see, uh, drawing in the market patterns that I've drawn in here, that the targeted, the, the the targeted moves from those market patterns line up quite well with these lines. So, for example, we have a ascending wedge formation that could be forming here. Now, we actually did, as I said. We broke out of a symmetrical triangle the other day. Uh, and right now, that triangle is still technically valid on Bitcoin. We technically have come down and flipped it for support. So that triangle is technically still valid on Bitcoin, but it is under threat. And the reason it's under threat is because we see things like total cryptocurrency market cap having that triangle failing the breakout. And we also see conflicting patterns start to form. Like, for example, although that triangle is still valid and that breakout is still valid, we also have a equally valid larger ascending wedge formation in yellow right here. So we have the bottom line of the wedge right there and the top line of the wedge right there. And obviously that is a pattern of exhaustion. And since that pattern of exhaustion is pressing against all-time highs, that is obviously threatening. That's a threat. And then on top of that, right, we have a bearish bat formation. Uh, now, a bearish bat formation is a harmonic pattern that is based heavily on angles, okay? So all of these angles here, we've got five separate points here, and all of these angles, as you can see, X, A, B, C, D, okay? Five separate points. And within those points, there is uh, angles of trajectory that are measured between each of those points that line up perfectly with what it should be. So it's a very precise market pattern. It doesn't come around very often, and that's why you probably haven't seen it very often. Also, most people just don't know about it because it's really, really rare. But it is actually quite valid, and it is actually something that has a pretty high degree of accuracy, right? When it when it does appear, like it has in this case, uh, it does have a high degree of accuracy in that it plays out a lot of the time. So right now, we have a bearish bat formation and the way measured moves work from bearish bat formations is you have one target at the C level. So we have one target right there, which is at around 64K. And then we have one target at the A level right here at around 61.2K. What you'll notice is that the target at the A level, the lower target, lines up with the monthly candle support zone at 61.2K. It's a very major macro zone, which does give that target a degree of validity. And what you'll also see, moving back to, backwards to the ascending wedge formation, is that the ascending wedge formation's target, which of course is measured from the first retest of the bottom of the wedge to the first retest of the, bottom, of the top of the wedge, applying it to a speculative breakout point. Now, with that being said, it is speculative. Uh, that would target exactly 57.5K, uh, which of course is a very important macro support zone as identified by the volume profile, which we looked at before. So what we have now is a situation in which we have a couple of bearish patterns forming. We technically speaking still have 
that bullish triangle in play, but it's really, really, you know, on thin ice right now. We have a couple of bearish patterns playing out, and those bearish patterns are targeting levels that are very, very valid. And it would be too much of a coincidence for that. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say it'd be too much of a coincidence for that to be a coincidence. What I mean is those targets targeting those exact levels is is not random, okay? That is very unlikely to be random. It's very likely that those are valid targets. Uh, and so that does put us a little, in a little bit of a dangerous situation for Bitcoin. Even as I speak in this video right now, you know, as I talk here, that triangle formation we just talked about that was on support, it actually has been broken down. So Bitcoin right now is in a bit of an uncomfortable situation. Uh, there's a few short-term patterns here that are not looking quite good at all, really, uh, that are targeting lower prices. We really want to be hanging on to the bottom of this wedge. And more importantly, if we look at the weekly chart, what we really need to be doing on Bitcoin right now, okay, is hanging on to this weekly candle support level at 69K. 69K, as, as kind of spoken about yesterday, is a very important support level uh, because 69K is the 2021 all-time high. It's the level we found for resistance back here. And if we drop below it and close below it right now, that would be very dangerous because it means that this entire move to the upside has been a fake out and we would go down with for a more extensive correction. Okay, and also if we lose that level at 69k, it becomes quite likely uh, that we lose this ascending wedge formation on the weekly chart RSI, which would again lead to a more extensive correction. So unfortunately, the breakout we saw yesterday uh, has has been a little bit of a failure in a sense. Uh, it, it didn't have the strength that was required. And so far, the strength has mostly dissipated and we're back in a kind of sketchy zone it's not quite bearish yet because we still again have that weekly candle close and support and we still have that good monthly candle close from a from a couple of weeks ago but right now unfortunately bitcoin is on a, in, in a bit of a risky situation again but i want to reassure you and i know it sounds like i'm flip-flopping from yesterday but this is just what's happened unfortunately we saw a breakout the breakout was valid it took us up 3,000 usd in price action uh it wasn't exactly a failed prediction i mean literally the price increased 3,000 usd from when i predicted it so in a way it was actually successful but unfortunately that breakout just wasn't as strong as initially anticipated we didn't quite retest all-time highs we retested the same region in fact to be fair uh, I said we'll go back to all-time highs. We only were 1.3% below all-time highs. So we were very, very close to doing that. We just didn't quite get there. Now, unfortunately, Bitcoin's in a dodgy position again. However, however, the halving's in 10 days, okay? Uh, and the halving, generally speaking, is a non-event. So we look at previous halvings. A lot of people have this kind of suspicion that halvings are generally very, very bullish in the short term. Not necessarily true. They're very bullish, bullish on the macro. They long-term lead to good price action. But on short term, we saw the halving in 2012, sideways price action for 50 days. We saw the halving in 2017, uh, we, 16. We actually went downwards and sideways price action for about 100 days. We saw the halving in 2020. We went sideways for about 60 days before the move upwards and properly uh, about 120 days before the move upwards. So what you can see is that the halving really is a non-event. If not, it's actually slightly bearish or at least leads to extensive consolidation. So it's not like Bitcoin's in a rush to move, right? That's the good news. The macro is still very much intact. It's not like Bitcoin's in a rush to move. It's not like it has to move now because uh, the halving is close. And if we don't move now, we're going to fail the bull market. No, it's nothing like that. If you actually zoom out and look where Bitcoin is, we really are in not a bad position at all. We really have seen ridiculously bullish price action for a long period of time since September without correction at all. Uh, and there's really no macro risk developing. But right now, unfortunately, those short-term charts are in a bit of a sticky situation and we'll have to update you on how they progress in future videos such as tomorrow's video but yeah right now even as i'm talking this drop price has dropped about a thousand usd uh short terms looking sketchy these patterns are still valid uh that i'm sh showing you on the screen here and i'll be looking into those targets quite closely over the next couple of days we'll see how they progress guys thank you for watching just wanted to update you a little bit here on how bitcoin's progressing and how that break breakout kind of failed a little bit because yesterday's video was quite bullish and of course we had justification for it and we did actually move upwards 3000 usd very close to our target which was an all-time high retest so technically speaking i mean that prediction was valid but now unfortunately the pendulum has flipped back into the bearish territory again so thanks for watching check out the bitget and bingx exchanges bitget is global uh, KYC minus the USA, Bing X is global non-KYC. You can sign up from anywhere in the world. Both are very low in trading fees and you've got even lower trading fees available with my referral links giving you a lifetime referral fee discount and also helping out the channel immensely. So get on those exchanges with my referral links down below and help out the channel, help out yourself by getting on a good exchange and getting discounts. Then we've got Crypto Academy Become a Trader course. A bull market sale right now for a limited time. Learn how to trade in a university style course. Get on there. All the information's on the website. 
Uh, again, bull market sale for a limited time, so check it out. And then finally, the VIP group on Telegram. We trade altcoins four to five times a week. We've got a 77.51% win rate. Absolutely exceptional stuff. If you want to make money on altcoins trading with me on VIP group there, you can do so. Check out the VIP group information below. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you tomorrow.